Hey Dreamers, welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how we can set up a weapon wheel like this. Uh, it doesn't have to be for weapons, it can be for character selections. Some sort of radial menu like this that allows us to pick something from a wheel. I know this is a box, but the idea is the same. And then we can close the menu when we want. This is super simple. If you want to learn how to make this, stick around because I'm going over it right now. Okay, so I'm going to go over how to build the logic here. If you're not interested in learning how to build it, but you want to know how to use it, I'll leave timestamps in the description below. I'll also have a link to the listed element because I'm going to make this uh, public as soon as I'm done here. So we're going to need, I'm, I'm going to use a variable um, and we'll call this like wheel menu on. And uh, you can set the defaults or the minimums and the max if you want. Um, this should probably be at zero. And the maximum depends on how big your wheel is, really. So I'll just leave it like that for now. And let's um, get out another one. And this could be uh, really anything. I'm going to call this selected um, or selection. This can be this can be a variable within your game, like the weapon number or the character number or whatever. But I'm going to go ahead and put this in here so that we have something to work with. Now, in order to control it, we're going to need a controller. So I'll get out controller center, and I'll set this to remote controllable. And let's go ahead and get out one of these signal manipulators. And I I'm going to all just bind the menu to L1. And so what we're going to do is I'll put this on a toggle so that uh, when time is playing, if I press L1, this can mean that it's on. And then if I press it again, then it'll close. So what we'll do is we'll just modify this wheel on variable. So I'll put that into the value, and this will continuously update. So if I press L1, we can see the thing gets set to 1. And if I press it again, then it's closed. So now what we need to do is we need to find out a way to map our joystick into degrees around a circle, right? Because this is, even though that example at the beginning, it was a bunch of blocks, it really works in a circular fashion. Um, so if you wanted more than 8, or if you wanted 16, or if you just wanted 5, it doesn't matter how many you want, this is still going to work. So uh, the way we're going to do this is um, I'm going to cheat here and use my stick rotation to degrees chip. I'm not going to explain how this works because uh, it's a little bit complex in terms of uh, the math background behind what's happening here. But basically what this does is it takes in a stick value, like your left stick or your right stick. I'll go ahead and use the left stick. And it remaps that x and y into a single axis of rotation. So here we get out a stick rotation in degrees. And so we can see here that if I plop that down, as I hold forward, we're at 180. And if I go to the right, then we're at 90. And if we go down, we're at 0. If we go left, then we're at 270, right? So this remaps everything into degrees. It's super smooth and uh, fairly lightweight. So um, I'm just going to use that. However, I'm going to make a small adjustment here because I don't want the degrees. I want a percentage because we're going to be using this in a circular fashion. I want a percentage of 360. Um, so what I'll do here is uh, I'll just add 180 instead of this. And then we'll divide this whole thing by 360. And that's what will go out. Anyway, if you do want a video on how this thing works, let me know. I, I can make one. It's not a big deal. Um, but uh, I'm just not going to go into it in this video. So now we can see that um, as I hold the stick, we have a percentage from 0 to 1. And to make this uh, even easier, let's 
get out this control sensor. So this shows my stick, so you can see it as I as I rotate. You see I'm holding forward and it's at zero or one, kind of teeters between there because it's the same. If I go to the right, then it's like 75, and if I go down, it's 50. If I go left, it's 25%, right? So uh, that's how that works. Now what we're gonna do is um, we can use a timeline. And let's say you have eight um, objects eight um, selections in the wheel, what I like to do is I'll go into beats mode and I just leave it at the default settings here and I use each one of these stripes as a value, right? So I, I have eight things so I want eight of these red or eight of these stripes on the timeline. We're gonna need some other things um, but this is almost done so we take this uh, stick uh, value and I'm gonna go ahead and rename this to percentage okay so now this is properly named stick rotation that's gonna go into the playhead here and we can see as I move the um, the stick that moves this through the timeline okay and if I'm not moving the stick then um, I don't want to move this around I'll just leave it the way it is now that I think about it we want to use that only when the wheel menu is on and the stick is moving because this is what's going to set our uh, selection variable here so if it's not if the menu's not on it doesn't make sense to change the value of the selection um, but yeah so uh, this is basically done now all we have to do is set up our uh, variable modifiers and uh, some keyframes for the actual thing so this will modify selection and it'll set it to something okay so there's eight of these, so we'll have eight here. And you could just use one, but then when the percentage is at 100, uh, you'd have to set that down to zero. So uh, what I'll do instead is I'll just quickly, I'll change this to an eighth note thing here. Okay, so that will be our bounds there. So these, and the one at the end here and the one at the beginning will be the same. Um, so I'll just drag those over the border. There we go. Okay, so now what we'll have is these full-size ones. So I'll just boop, 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 boop. There we go. And uh, we're all set. So this would be selection one. This would be selection two. Okay, so there we go. So we can see uh, as I move the stick around, these aren't being updated, which is good. Now if I, if I press L1, the menu is on, and we can see that as I move the stick, this variable is getting set. Then when I close the menu by pressing L1 again, the selection stays, and uh, nothing happens here because this timeline is off. Okay, so let's say you wanted to uh, make a menu. I'll just uh, make something here. Okay, so we have this little object, and I'm going to get out a keyframe. And this keyframe, uh, we can add some glow maybe, and maybe make this brighter, just to signal that it's um, being highlighted. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and copy this two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. Cool. And so now we can make our menu here. So I'll just go ahead and put these into a circle as best as I can considering these are blocks and now these things will just go into the timeline so um, we'll do it like this cool and then I'll just recopy this first one again because uh, it's the same and uh, there we go so it's all set up so uh, the idea is um, these won't be nothing will be happening and if I turn the menu on then we can see that something is being selected cool so uh, all you'd have to do is uh, let's go ahead and get out one of these like head camera tracker things and um, group these things together so they're one object Put that in the tracker, and let's move this back a little bit. 
cool. So this is now inside the head tracker. And so what we'll do is um, we'll get a keyframe to turn this head tracker on. And then by default, it'll be off. Okay, so um, this is the wheel menu on. And when that's on, so will this keyframe. So I'll just label this. Okay, so there we go. So let's go ahead and try it out. We can see uh, currently nothing's happening. If I press L1, the menu pops up and I can use the left stick to select something. And then when I close it, it's gone. Okay, real quick, I'll just put a little number displayer here just so we can um, see the selection at all times. Okay, so we can see the selection down here. Um, this way we can see that, uh, you know, the selection is being set even if uh, the menu's off, right? So if I press left, even if I let go of the stick, it's still being set to that until I press a different direction. Okay, so I've gone ahead and cleaned this up here. We can see it's exactly what I just went through. Um, I just made it a little tidier. I cleaned up the wires. I added this little text displayer just so you can remember how to use it. And uh, so I'll list this as public. It's actually, I just listed it, so it's already listed. And I listed this wheel menu example. So if you want to see how it works again, you can come in here and play around with it. And it's also fully remixable, it's public. So you can just remix, come in here, turn off uh, preview invisibility. I guess I should change that to say turn off preview invisibility. And here you go. So this is exactly what happened before. We have the uh, wheel menu here. We have the timeline, each of these just changes the color of that, and that's it. You're ready to go. Before I close out here, I'd just like to say that I started streaming occasionally on my Twitch channel. Um, I'm trying to set up a permanent, or at least a, for the rest of the year, stream schedule. A more permanent stream schedule, if you will. Um, currently, it's looking like I'm going to be doing something on Wednesday evenings, uh, Pacific Time, and Fridays around 3 p.m. ish Pacific time onwards and potentially you know a day on the weekend here and there depending on uh, when I'm free anyways uh, yeah make, I'm working on a very cool game right now um, I don't have a name for it yet uh, but uh, I'm very excited about it so if you want to come hang out and uh, watch me make stuff feel free to do so if you found this video useful helpful funny not funny stupid go ahead and let me know leave a comment down below and if you did enjoy it give me a thumbs up if you hated it then give me a thumbs down and if you're new around here and you want to subscribe go ahead and click the little button down there below the video uh, it says subscribe that's s-u-b-s-c-r-i-b -S -S that's it i'm out of here i hope you're staying safe and having a great day or a great evening, wherever you are. Until next time, see you later.